Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome yet again to another edition of What Really Matters NYC with your host Tony Keevan and more importantly you, of course. And we're going to jump right to the subject of the moment. Uh, usually we start out with the weather. We're going to hold off on the weather for just a little bit. Um, and the subject of the moment, of course, is uh, Facebook. Everyone's been talking about Facebook and it's dominated the news. And um, I thought, you know, since sometimes I feel that here in New York that we really are the center of the universe. I mean, I kind of felt that in the last week with the J.P. Morgan Chase $2 billion event, and then it turned into $3 billion. And then they're really glad what came along next was Facebook because they got out of the news. But then again, New York, we were in the middle again with, you know, Morgan Stanley, um, Apparently, the bank told major clients it was reducing its revenue forecast for Facebook while the company was still involved in its IPO, IPO roadshow. And so there's a lot of issues about timing and who knew what when. And so all this sort of culminated to me into asking the question, because I never really did a, a show on Occupy Wall Street. And I thought, you know, if anyone would say, I told you so, it would be them. So I thought I'd reach out to Mark Bray uh, from Occupy Wall Street. Mark, are you there? Yeah, thanks for having me. Great. Speak up when you when you speak so we can catch you here. And, you know, what was interesting about Mark is uh, he's a member of the Occupy Wall Street press team. He um, uh, was a graduate student of history at Rutgers University, which is also in the news this week. Uh, of course, with the 30, um, uh, the, 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 the sentence, uh, the very light sentence, apparently, for um, the uh, uh, privacy case. And, but what I was reading about him was, well, he, it, was about, it was an interview of him when he came first to Zuccotti Park, and they asked him, uh, well, what brought you to Zuccotti Park? And he said, well, I came down on the first day, September 17th, since I heard about it on Facebook a few days in advance. So I thought, who else to ask about, you know, all the goings on this week? And, you know, are you in a position, Mark, to tell us I told you so, or how are you guys going with this? Well, to some extent, I would say, yeah. Uh, clearly, what's happened shows that in this economy, the the game is rigged to favor those who already have access to large amounts of wealth and resources and really uh, discriminate against those people who are supposedly trying to climb up the ladder, as the saying goes. So Morgan Stanley and Bank of America and big-time investors get privileged information that they can use to determine their investments while, uh, you know, normal investors uh, get the wrong end of what happens. And I think also you can see with the rapid decline in Facebook share that um, really it's been overhyped that the relationship between how the market values these stocks has a lot more to do with uh, backroom games than necessarily the actual worth of the commodity being discussed. So I think a lot more work needs to be done to really make sure that the economy is more accessible to all sorts of people to participate in. And, and that goes beyond simply uh, stock trading, but I think is one egregious example, sure. Well, you know, that's the great hope of all this technology. I mean, if you look at online brokerage, for example, over the last 20 years, I mean, I used to not be able to place an order online. I'd have to call up my broker. So ostensibly, you know, making it online would make it more accessible to me. But I happen to know from my own experience with this that it was rather uh, limited and uh, very um, challenging if you didn't have a certain amount of money in, in, in your portfolio in order to place, uh, place purchases on this. I do know, though, in fairness, though, to Facebook and these guys, that I did hear about a week ago, because I'm very plugged into this stuff because I'm into this social networking, um, that their revenue models had been scaled back, but that the reason was because they realized that they were, you know, the, 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 the point of gravity of everybody's moving to mobile, and their mobile interface is not very strong as compared to other ones that do geolocation, like Foursquare, for example. And that was really the reason why it was, quote unquote, diminished their earnings return. But it doesn't mean that they can't make it up. I guess my question is, um, 
you, you sort of are, you sort of were right, okay? You should, if you don't want to say, I told you so, you're a very polite gentleman, but you know, you, 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 two things happen in one week in our city which show that you are right. The question is, is what can we do? What can you do? I mean, we can keep protesting, but the momentum of the money is so big that it's uh, very hard for, uh, you know, the, 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 the guy trying to pray, place a trade for 100 shares to make a difference. Yeah, well, the system is certainly stacked against people who don't have the kind of economic resources and leverage to really push back against this. And you're right that protesting unto itself doesn't necessarily lead to larger change, but I think by virtue of getting out in the streets and making a noise, at least we've gotten the issue on people's radars, gotten people thinking about it, and will hopefully lead to the kind of movement that will push politicians to actually be more accountable, because... Obviously, the, fr the flip side of this is that in order to attain high office, a lot of these politicians need to get millions of dollars in contributions from the very same financial institutions and corporations they're supposed to be enacting legislation to regulate. And so that kind of conflict of interest is, I think, at the heart of what the problem of this really is. And there's no sort of easy, quick-fix solution, you know, take a pill and call me in the morning. I, it involves a larger... Um, public education, awareness, and participation. And the idea that we can't simply wait for politicians to do these things for us, but we need to really be pushing them. So that's, uh, you know, that's sort of where we're coming from, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> so how, how is Occupy Wall Street going, Mark? Thanks very much for that, that insight and that update. And how are you guys doing? Because you, ha well, you definitely have dropped out of the news. Week. We had the May 1st demonstrations, which, despite having tens of thousands of people out marching, got only moderate media attention. And I think that shows that, ultimately, a lot of the mainstream media is more interested in sort of the novelty of Occupy than actually the arguments or seeing it as a long-term social movement. So we're trying to, you know, make this something that will be around for a while, continually be a thorn in the side of uh, financial institutions and corporations and politicians who don't respond to these kinds of messages. And in that spirit, we're pursuing our campaigns. Um, we had um, a sit-in in in the New York Attorney General's office to push him to be more uh, vigilant in his regulation of the uh, financial sector. We have campaigns around foreclosure issues and student debt and environmental issues. And so we're really trying to do is create something that's sustainable and long-lasting that can be um, a receptacle for people to express their outrage and frustration in the long run. And that's not always something that's glamorous or will make headlines, but behind the scenes, the work is still continuing. Uh, Mark, is there any site that you want to uh, uh, name for people to go to? Well, you can check out Occupy.com. Okay. That has some nice stuff. And uh, OccupyWallST.org has some other articles. There are several uh, main websites affiliated okay. with the movement, but those are two good ones to check out. Okay. Well, Mark, thanks so much for joining thank us you. tonight. And thank you very much for the update. And um, summer's approaching, so uh, maybe we'll see more of you guys in the news, okay? I, I think you will. Thank okay. You. Cheers. Thanks so much.